Ken Sears here with a Saturday shave video. Well, I hope everybody's week went great. Uh, I got a chance to do a quick video, the My Seven Sins of uh, Wet Shaving, so that was kind of interesting. Uh, had a full, uh, no more 980, gents, can you believe it? 540. Ah, so uh, five days a week, eight hours a day instead of the nine hours with the, every other Friday off. Anyhow, I'll get used to that schedule. I lost my Friday. Today I'm going to be trying out a new shave soap. I actually have about three uh, soaps from three different shave companies, three different artisans shave companies uh, on deck to go. And the first one that I'm going to try today is uh, actually, again, you guys recommend stuff. I hear things in the comments, uh, you, you, you let me know about it. And this shave soap comes from uh, state couple, two states north of me, Washington. And it is uh, West of Olympia Barbershop scent. And I guess it's from Kelso, Washington. So uh, there's a lot of choices on that website. And actually, real reasonably priced, like 12 bucks. So real reasonably priced. And this one is the Barbershop scent. It comes in a nice plastic tub. Dog on it. Smells just like the old Barbershops. Nice and soft. Look at that. Oh, very good. So I'm going to be trying that soap out for the first time today. I'm also going to be trying out, I uh, haven't used it in a while, my Razor Rock Blackhawk Single Edge Razor. Haven't used it in about, no, about six months. So I took the blade out. It's probably good for several, several shaves. This is the old blade. I don't know if you guys have seen the uh, single edge blades before. And what I'm using is a uh, pink Captain Titan Mild Blade. It's kind of cool. I uh, guess it's, uh, I think it's from Japan. It comes in a, like an injector cartridge. See? So what, yeah, what I did on this one, I just had to eject the blade out and then manually put it in. Because it's a, it's a three-piece razor. If you've never, or never seen the Blackhawk before, it's a three-piece razor and it gives a nice big shave. And it's got a nice wide wide head compared to a, compared to a DE. See, you get about another quarter inch on there of blade. So looking forward to trying this one out again today. For the, uh, the brush, man, love that. Oh, can you see the color? Maybe that dark blue handle, you know, uh, it's the synthetic, the black, uh, is it the black Wolf Whiskers synthetic? But it's Wolf Whiskers and it's synthetic and it's a really cool brush. And I've, uh, I've done a few videos with that. So I'm gonna be using this one today. And I'm going out to uh, dinner tonight. Uh, we're going out, well not to dinner, we're going to a, a party. A friend of mine uh, that I golf with, uh, Tom, he, uh, it's his birthday, so uh, his girlfriend uh, is having a party for him and uh, get to go out. So today I'm going to use so my going out uh, aftershave, Polo Red. I'll use some Polo Red today. Mailman's already been, Monty. Don't go barking. All right, so let me get this soaked for a second. I'll, uh, you don't really have to soak synthetics, but uh, eh, I like to. So I put it in the crystal skull. We'll get her soaking. I clear off some of these items here so I have a, a, a clear surface to work from, and I'll be right back. Right. You know, if I'm not careful, I pile everything up on the edge of the sink, and the sinks, you know, you've seen it. It's probably about uh, three or four inches wide, and just <laughs> stuff flies everywhere. Bad enough when the phone falls off the uh, mirror, but I don't like, uh, I don't like items going all over the place. Let me start uh, whipping this up. Saturday at last. Got a chance to go see, uh, oh, I was bad. Went with my daughter to the movies ye uh, yesterday evening and I movie hopped. <laughs> Got to see uh, Happy Death Day and it has a good ending. I hate these horror movies. Oops, let me get, get that light locked in. I hate those horror movies, and it's not a spoiler alert, that just keeps on going. You know, you go, oh, it's over, and then uh, yep, to be continued. This one has a good ending. Thumbs up on that. And then Jackie Chan is back, and uh, it was a really good thriller. I uh, haven't seen one of those in quite a while, uh, about uh, IRA bombing and he's, he's, his daughter, you know, I guess gets killed and he's looking for revenge and man, Jackie Chan still got it. Look at this. 
Soap's going good. I put a ton of water in this brush because a lot of people say, hey, I like to see, and there's that automatic air freshener. I like to see a ton of soap on there. And uh, you're, man, it's spilling out all over the place. So you are getting it today. Let me wet my face. And for you fans who remember in the 80s, Elvira, the mistress of the dark, even if you never saw her on her TV show or her movie, uh, you've probably seen her on Halloween, you know, on the, you know, everybody dresses, you know, uh, all, the, all the hot ladies dresses Elvira. But uh, she does a show every year at Not Scary Farm, Haunt Night. And, you know, that park, you know, before Universal Studios was doing it and Disneyland kind of does a, a real toned down version of that. I think Knott's was probably the first, probably starting in the 70s and then the 80s. And they did uh, Knott's Scary Farm uh, from 7 to 1 a.m. Uh, a week or two before Halloween. And I've been, I went religiously in the 80s uh, to that with my friends. And then, uh, you know, I, it's probably been 20 years since I've been there. Well, this... She came back and uh, she was doing her stage show first time in, well, I don't know. I can't say that it's the first time in years, but it's the first time I've seen it in years. And uh, I brought my camera in, my uh, iPhone, the one that keeps falling off of this. And the show was probably 30 minutes. And man, I got to sit like a tripod and hold that camera. Whoa, 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 nice soap. And uh, film the whole thing. So uh, I will put it on YouTube. They're going to tackle me with copyright infringements and everything, but uh, they'll put their advertising on. I don't care. I just want to show you, in case you uh, saw Elvira, the show at Haunt Night, back in the old days when you lived in Southern California. Now you've moved. It's been 20, 30 years. You want to see what it looks like now? And, man, she's still got a smoking body. Shh, don't tell the wife that, but uh, still got a smoking body. Well, this soap smells great. Look at that. Very slick. Lathered great. It's spilling out there. I'm gonna kick that door. That dog doesn't quit barking. <laughs> that got him. All right. One bad thing about that not scary farm. Uh, we stayed there real late. Fog everywhere. It was kind of, it was kind of hazy. Uh, mosquitoes were out. And uh, I think one got me right here. So if you see a cut here, it's not because of this or the soap. It's because I doggone got bit. I'm trying to avoid that. And that rakes this off. And this is a good three days growth. right off. Man, this razor does a good job too. That not scary farm, they probably had one psychotic, you know, employee dressed up like a psychotic clown for probably every 25 guests. There were these <laughs> well made up, hideous clowns, probably because of the movie It, walking around just scaring the hell out of everybody. And then if you run, they haul ass after you and they, in a group. Probably if it wasn't for cell phones, uh, guys would lose their dates because uh, the girls usually freak out and run. And uh, they don't stop for, <laughs> for a mile or so. But it was kind of funny to see. All right. It was definitely funny to see. Yeah, 
soap smells really good. Works really good. No one can say this soap's not thick. Or I didn't thicken it up good enough for your taste. Because it's still... Still in there. Unlike some soaps that I've seen, you put it on and then turns to like soap, soap just dissolves, you know, no bubbles. Definitely not with this one. All right. Oh, ouch. Stupid bite. My wife and daughter are home. You might hear the pounding on the door. What are you doing? Yeah. I have to go to airplane mode on the iPhone because you know then the texts come and you know it's like ah. Got a funny comment says, hey man, your, t your videos used to be 10 minutes. Now they're like 16, 20 minutes. Yeah, what's going on? I like them shorter. Can you believe it? I was doing them short. Everybody's complaining about doing them long. Hey, you're just getting them. Uh, you're getting a good shave, however long it takes. And this has chopped it down so good, it does not warrant a third pass. Definitely does not warrant. You can see a dog on bite is, but I didn't cut myself. Luckily, does not warrant a third pass. All right. Cold water. Soap in the ears. All right. And it's overkill. I know. But uh, we'll put a little Humphreys on there before the aftershave. Helps soothe the skin. And I know this is going to burn like a son of a bitch. Pardon the French. All right. Polo Red. Good stuff. I've been going nuts all week with the uh, quorum. <laughs> all right, here we go. Oh, yeah, ah, oh man, what a burn. Hey, hey, ready to rock. All right, guys, have a fantastic weekend. Like I said, I got some other soaps ready to rock. Uh, I'll probably be uh, putting those videos out every, you know, th four days or so, three or four days. So I do have some new ones lined up and uh, lots of good things to say about West of Olympia. You saw it. Shaved good. Thick, thick, thick. Smells good. Can't wait to try it again. All right, guys. Have a great night and we'll see you next time.